Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know that right now we have a fair amount of stress going on with the Bowing Gauntlet, so uh, I, I, since I didn't really have enough time to do like a formal banner prediction this time around, uh, I thought maybe we would just do kind of an informal talk session and uh, I can spew some thoughts that I have out into your brain spaces and you can watch this wholesome ether resort three houses stuff in the background no stress at all everything is fine <sighs> voting gauntlets don't exist just remember that everything is fine no in all seriousness like we're we're pretty sad on voting gauntlet no matter who wins like we're we're looking pretty good anyway uh yes so look at this this is your animation in the background and then we'll talk about what i think is coming up for uh for the voting gauntlet or not the voting gauntlet the banner that's what we're here for so there's a new banner on the fifth sixth depending on your time zone um i don't have enough time to do a formal review so we're just gonna I, i'm just gonna the normal research or thought i would put into it i'm just gonna tell you about it right now so if you recall uh we had the bound hero battle of lynn and florina earlier in the month and uh well last month technically and we also got resplendent lynn if you recall, uh, earlier in uh, February as well. And then we had the Dread Isle banner, which is Blazing Blade, of all things. Um, if you take a look at the calendar again, we have that Bound Hero Battle revival of Morgan and Morgan. Curious. Um, and we also ended up getting Resplendent Cordelia, which is another awakening thing. And lo and behold, we ended up getting... Legendary Crumb. I don't know if that's coincidence, friends. But so far, it seems to be kind of trailing this pattern of there's a resplendent hero uh, and then a banner to kind of accompany it, or uh, in this case, both times, there's some kind of uh, bound hero battle or something uh, to accompany a certain banner that comes up as well. And so, if you notice, we have the, the GHB revival of Kronia uh, that's, well, it's started. It's already going on. If you haven't done it yet, you should. But it's going on right now, and um, coincidentally, uh, we should be getting a Three Houses banner pretty soon, if you recall the Fade Channel, uh, that little teaser at the end. Now, think of it at, for what it is. Uh, I don't necessarily know if that's... You know, it, it, it could just be them letting you know, like, hey, look, we have sprite work for them. Like, it's a thing. We're working on it. We know they're here. Because uh, I do feel like IS is pretty tapped into to the community feedback for the most part. So it could just be them saying stuff like, like, we hear you. We haven't forgotten about three houses. We know it's been a minute since you got one. Um, but, <laughs> but they do exist, and we are working on them. We hear you. Uh, especially since that accompanied the results of the voting gauntlet, or the, not the voting gauntlet, God, that is on my brain, not the voting gauntlet, uh, the Choose Your Legends results, which was all three houses. Um, so, it's, it's pretty likely that our next banner could be three houses, but given the trend of Resplendent Heroes and the fact that we are going to be having Ike from Path of Radiance, uh, the, the OG Ike is coming back uh, for a Resplendent form um, on the 10th this month. There's a strong chance that it could be um, a Path of Radiance banner as well. Uh, so those are those are two of my kind of picks. Like that's from my thought processes. This is not going to be a terribly long video. So if you came here thinking that I was going to do some kind of like crazy analysis, I simply do not have the time <laughs> before the inevitable banner trailer drops. Um, so I at least wanted to put some thoughts down into words and uh, let you guys know where my head was at. But that would be my guess. Uh, the other kind of out there moment that I'm thinking, it could be a Fates banner. Uh, and that's, strictly speaking, we haven't had one in a while. Um, but the truth can be said of a couple different um, series that we haven't had. So it's it's entirely possible that it could be literally anything. Um, probably, probably not. 
a uh, Blazing Blade banner, but you know, it could be. Um, but that that would be my guess. I think they're they're kind of starting to do these themes, and I, I say that uh, apprehensively almost because I feel as though um, the minute I say, "Oh, there's there's trends," then they don't. <laughs> they just go. They pull a 180, uh, like kind of like they did with the uh, legendary banner f uh, filler. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. It, as far as units go. Um, I could see maybe, I could see maybe Muriel and Kellum, uh, for an Awakening bit. I wouldn't mind seeing them, uh, pop in. Uh, gosh, there's, there's a handful of units. The Vike, I'd like to see him get in there too. Um, there's a handful, uh, like, believe it or not, we do have a, a decent amount of Awakening units <laughs> in Fey. Um, but there's still a fair amount that are not in the game yet. Um, alter otherwise, they are just, they're not there yet. Um, for Path of Radiance, jeez, uh, we we have a we have a meaty chunk of units <laughs> that that exist uh, in Fey already from uh, Path of Radiance, but um, you know, Shinon, Gaetri, uh, those is Gaetri in? I think Gaetri's actually in it. I can't remember. I always get him confused with Drog in my head. No, Gaetri's not there. Gaetri's not in Fae. Uh, but he might he might pop in. Maybe. Tough to say. Anyway, I'm tired. I just got back from the gym. And I'm not going to have time to record anything else this week <laughs> before this comes out. So uh, I wanted to get that out there um, and just kind of like put, put some thoughts out there for you if you're considering uh, waiting or pulling or dumping orbs or not dumping orbs. Uh, because there are a fair amount of banners coming up. Um, but again, my word means literally nothing at this point, because <laughs> IS does what IS wants, man. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, uh, good luck in the voting gauntlet in the final rounds. Probably by the time this video goes up, it'll, it'll be final rounds. Um, Team Alphonse hopefully pulls through. If not, maybe Team Leaf. I'm leaning towards Alphonse and Leaf, to be honest. This video has just turned into my ramblings, and I'm going to cut it here before it hits 10 minutes, because I don't want that to happen. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the wholesome background. I'm putting money on either Path of Radiance or Awakening. Um, or Three Houses, too. I think Three Houses has a decent chance um, as well. I didn't give you guesses for Three Houses, did I? Uh, Seth and um, Lysithia, maybe Flane would be there. Dorothea, that'd be dope. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Let me know in the comments who you guys think we're going to be seeing on banners. Again, this is a very informal thing. Um, I just wanted to put a video out. <laughs> that's, that's where my head's at. I don't have time to do much else. Uh, but in the comments, let me know who you guys think we're going to be seeing on the banner on the 5th. Uh, it'll probably be out in less than 24 hours from now because I'm recording this late Monday night. So, there you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't checked out the other videos that I did... Uh, either at KatsuCon or the the Fayversary baking video or uh, my lack of Crom summon session spoilers, uh, you can check those out. Those are live. Um, but until then, uh, until we get a trailer to react and maybe be excited or disappointed by, uh, that's it for now. So thanks again for watching, and I will catch you next time.